In this quick lesson, I'm going to talk to you about this Guides tab from the Guides, Dimensions and Grid drop-down in the Design Centre. So we, over here we have these Standard Guides, Dynamic Guides and we have some Display Options. So I'll just show you how to apply some Standard Guides. So we just select an object like this one here and all we do is we simply click this button and as you can see a guide is applied like so. You can apply a Centre Guide, a Right Guide, a Top Guide, another Centre Guide and a Bottom Guide. And you can see the guides are just perfectly applied to the job there. We can turn the guides on and off to view, like so. Uh, we can also delete the guides. And if we wanted to create a fresh guide, we can just come up to the ruler and select and drag one down. We can select that guide there, and you'll find if I lock the guide, I can no longer select it. So no matter what I try, I can't select that. So I can unlock it like so. And I can then just use the Select Guides button here and delete this guide away. So that's how we apply standard guides. Now over here on this page here we can also apply a baseline guide to text. This is very handy when you want to, um, just click that there like so, when you want to align the baseline of say different types of text like these two here. So I can simply bring this up here and align it onto the guide like so and now my baselines match up. So baseline guides are very handy, great way of laying out your jobs like so. The other type of guide we've got here is an origin guide. So in a circle, the origin's in the centre. So when we click this guide here, we get the guides along the centre axis of the circle. In a square, it's in the top left corner, so the uh, origin guides apply to the top left corner like so. So that's how those work. And now if we go to this next page, I'll just quickly show you how the dynamic guides work. Sometimes you want to set things apart from each other, and you can use like dy dynamic guides to do that. So I just set this to say 10 inches and this is a dynamic guide so it actually sort of anchors itself or locks itself to this uh, this shape here. So now when I apply these, I'll just quickly snap the guides. So when I apply these objects to the guides here they snap it exactly 10 inches apart. So that way I can use this snapping feature to force the distance of objects away from each other like so. And I can also um, set the dynamic guide to follow the object or not to follow the object. So right now if I, um, I'll just zoom out a little bit here first, I'll move across. If I move this ball around you'll see the dynamic guide sticks with that ball, it moves along with it. If I undo that and then I uncheck follow object, so I've got to select the guide like so, now the ball's free of the object, it's not anchored anymore. So that's how those dynamic guides work. And as you can see, creating standard guides and applying dynamic guides is very easy, and that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.